What we need then, really, is a caterum that's okay to be seen in. And this could be a contender. It's called the Veritas RS3, and there's certainly no problem with its appearance because it looks like a 1930s racing car from the future. Now, you've probably never heard of the Veritas, and that usually only means two things. Firstly, it's built by a man in a shed. Secondly, that man's wife will leave him when the bank manager forces him to sell the house to pay for his fiberglass lasher. However, the Veritas is German, and annoyingly, German shed cars can be as good as most other people's factory cars. This incredible body is handcrafted from carbon fibre and Kevlar with precision. And that's German precision, remember, which is the best sort. Then there's the engine, which is a V8 from BMW's M Division. Now, the M Division don't sell their engines to cowboys or losers. So the Veritas has got a good job reference right there. And what this also means is that the Veritas is pretty quick. Whoa! We have I felt that before? Oh, yeah, in that K-Trip about five minutes ago. This V8 once powered the BMW M3, but has been tuned up from 420 to 473 horsepower. 3.6 seconds. For every time you stamp on the throttle, this thing just drop kicks your stomach half a mile back down the road. The reason for this speed isn't just power, it's also down to weight, or rather, lack of it. The Veritas only weighs a snatch over 1,000 kilos. But then it would, because you don't get ABS, traction control, or a windscreen. And there's no roof, just a sort of submarine hatch covering the passenger seat. But this complete absence of anything does come at quite a price. £246,948, to be exact. But you do get this glorious Reva speedboat-style wooden flooring, and these hand-milled bespoke switches and, well, couple that with the fact that in the jet set there's generally one born every minute and it all sort of makes sense, really. At least what the Veritas lacks in toys or value for money, it does make up for in history. Because many decades ago, Veritas was a German sports car company and they made the very first German Formula One car. Which means if I apply some Top Gear logic, this thing should be good through the corner. In fact, it's nowhere near as sharp as the Dweeby Catron. The biggest problem by a country mile is the big round thing in front of me. Steering. A piece have been taken from a lorry. Well, look, I have to keep turning. Keep turning, take my hands off and do some more turning. Now, Veritas say they won't be selling cars to customers until next year, and that by then the steering will have been sorted out. But even if it is, this won't be the car for me. is too serious, the engine, Kevlar. I want my Caterham back. I want my fun back. Very good, that hammer. Yes. I'm slightly perplexed. You say if you drive around in one of these, you look a dweeb. Yes. You know Jeremy's wife's got one of these? Very fond of it. Big fan. Yeah. She's here today, actually. Yes, right. She wants a word with you later. Thank you. Anyway, if you drive one of these and you look a dweeb, how do you think you look in that? Emeritus professor of history? 
Edward Fox, perhaps? <laughs> or a big slobbering... No, no, look, but the thing is, this costs £212,000 more than the catering. Yeah, exactly. So you're and paying a lot more for a car that's worse? Ah, well, no, because to find that out, we have to see how fast they go round our track. And for that, we need a tame racing driver. Some say one of his legs gets longer when he sees a pretty lady. <laughs> <laughs> and that I haven't done one of these for some time and I've forgotten to make up a second thing. <laughs> <laughs> All we know is he's called the Stig. <laughs> and he's off. Lots of wheel spin off the line, but then it digs in and unleashes the full force of that four-litre V8. Powers down towards the first corner, turns in rather gingerly, must be said. I should add that since I drove the car, Veritas have given it a faster steering rack, which should make it easier to drive quickly. Stig certainly having no problems at Chicago. Down to Hammerhead now, hard on the brakes. Turns it in, it seems to scrub off quite a bit of speed there. But then he's right back on it now, kicking the tail out on the exit. Now let's see him really wind it up for the follow through. Here he goes. Doesn't actually sound like a V8 there. <laughs> Just two corners left now, going into the penultimate corner. Very smooth. Just Gambon left. Very composed into there. Just a little flick of opposite lock and across the line. Hey! And it... there'll be a big V8 in there, powerful car. So let's have a look. It did it in 124.2, which puts it in there. That's faster than an Audi R8. That's a quick time. Well done, Veritas.